Welcome to another edition of Head On here on Shaw TV. I'm your host, Ian Holmes, where we investigate the issues that really matter here on Mid Vancouver Island. And efforts are in full force right now in Parksville, Qualicum Beach to create more quality, well paying jobs for that region. As everybody knows, it's an aging demographic. It's a, an area that's really dependent on tourism related jobs. And they're looking to fix that around a little bit in Parksville, Qualicum Beach, work on their economic sustainability. Uh, to break that down and talk about the opportunity and the challenges. Kim Burden, Executive Director of the Parksville and District Chamber of Commerce. Kim, thanks so much for coming on the program. Thanks for the opportunity, Ian. Um, some of the economic challenges in Parksville, Qualicum Beach are well documented. Uh, the aging um, population of the area, one of the oldest areas in Canada, um, a lot of tourism related jobs, but in terms of uh, uh, diversity, it seems to be a bit of an issue, Kim. So uh, just talk a little bit about this effort. A group of local organizations, uh, municipalities have teamed up. It's called Oceanside Initiatives. You're a, a big figure behind that to strengthen the region's economy and business attraction is a big part of this, the lifestyle entrepreneur. So, Tell our viewers a little bit about uh, this business attraction strategy that's going on right now in Parksville, Qualicum Beach, Kim. Certainly, you know, we started to look at this um, several years ago when there were announcements of impending school closures because of the declining school population. And as a business organization, we were asked at the time, what's your take on on uh, on school closures we said well we don't really have a take on school closures um, but we do see this as a symptom of a larger problem um, we are not able to retain the youth of our community in our community and we're having difficulty attracting young families to come and live in our communities because of the wage structure of service sector jobs which is what uh, what primarily drives our economy. So we, we took it upon ourselves to develop a group. Um, it's a partnership with, like you say, the, the two municipalities, the regional district, uh, both chambers of commerce from Qualicum Beach and Parksville, uh, the downtown business associations, the tourism association, Vancouver Island University and the school district. And that's a very strong group of individuals. Um, we, we, we've met and started the, the process. The first thing we did was to uh, hire a consultant to give us a baseline. Uh, we wanted to know what our competitive advantages and disadvantages were in the region as it pertained to economic development. Uh, that work is done. We've, we've got a great report uh, that we've been working from and one of the recommendations in that report was the uh, attraction of what we call the lifestyle entrepreneur. Now a lifestyle entrepreneur is somebody with a significant set of skills who can work anywhere in the world, um, their product or their service is not uh, geographically dependent. Most of the people that are already in the community that, that, would, that, uh, that have that designation, um, people doing, uh, doing high tech work, people doing uh, green energy work, people, uh, people that, that sell a product that goes out through, uh, through a web-based uh, uh, web interface, they are there because they love the community. They, mm -hmm. they, they like the concept that they can work in the morning and go mountain biking in the afternoon or go surfing or sailing or uh, get involved in the community. They also really like the fact that it's a very safe community. So we are uh, moving forward with the development of a set of marketing tools uh, we've done some surveys in the community uh, with with those folks, with the with the community in general, and we're moving forward to develop a set of marketing tools that we can go out to various trade shows, uh, various um, uh, gatherings of, of lifestyle entrepreneurs to see if we can't attract them to our community to diversify our economy. Now, what do people in Parksville, Qualicum Beach, what's the local sentiment? Uh, and, and there was a, a survey done recently. Uh, we had that on our our radio stations, uh, 88.5 The Beach, 99.9 The Lounge out in Parksville, and a very interesting survey. Uh, just talk a little bit about that and, and the sentiment of the people in Parksville, Qualicum Beach, and how they feel about local job prospects, Kim. Well, it's pretty, it, it was, it was uh, very astounding for me. Yeah. Um, I, ac I expected that people would get it, but I didn't expect to see them get it to the level and degree that they did. Um, we asked the question, 
and, and ask people to, to rate the, uh, the question on a one to five. There are sufficient employment opportunities to keep young people living in this region. 74% of the people that took the survey disagreed with that statement. So that tells you that people really believe that we've got to, we've got to make some changes. Um, when we talked about the school, the school enrollment uh, issue with, with regard to the decline, 80% um, of the people that agreed with the fact that uh, job creation would contribute to increasing enrollment in our schools. Um, over 80% of the people surveyed felt that uh, we need to deal with the lower paying um, jobs and, and get a broader range of sectors so that we can attract young families to our community. Um, 75, almost 80 percent of people recognize that we need to attract more business to our community. So, and, and the same with attracting entrepreneurs. So people in the community really understand the issue. Um, we surveyed over 200 people, which is which is a fairly reasonable sample in a community of our size. When you, you know, when you figure that they're talking to 300 people to see who's going to form the next government in Canada, mm -hmm. um, it's a it's a good sample size. We went out into the community. We didn't rely on talking to people that we have contact with, which is primarily business people. So we went out into the community to to get the results for this survey. So uh, people recognize that there is a need for business attraction. There is a need for uh, diversity diversity in our economy and, and they get it. Um, and so I, I'm, the reason we did this was so that when we get to the place where we are attracting new businesses, where we are attracting uh, new business owners and entrepreneurs, they'll be welcomed mm -hmm. because that's an important piece. A, a number of the, uh, on that, uh, you mentioned that the 74% don't believe there are enough jobs to retain young people, and that's the lifeblood uh, of a community moving forward uh, to have some kind of uh, economic stability and a future moving ahead. I'm sure that's, you know, a number that that, that Oceanside Initiatives, uh, this effort in Parksville, Qualicum Beach, you guys really want to get a handle on, you know, have more greener pastures uh, for, for younger people and, and have more children in the community. And that really links back to, to keeping more schools open in Parksville, Qualicum, Absolutely. doesn't it? You know, the school district is still the largest employer in the community you know 600 plus jobs in a single entity you know the next largest is some of the resorts and grocery stores which are 150 to 200 employees so that that single employment group is really important to the economy um, as and as far as attracting young people you know a lot of our business owners want to retire they want somebody to sell their business to um, I spent uh, yesterday talking to a group of of uh, foreign investors who are looking to purchase businesses in uh, in British Columbia to attract some of them over to look after what we call succession planning for business. Um, there's there's so many aspects to this uh, that uh, that it's it's critical that we do it correctly, mm -hmm. do it right. Um, but yeah, it is absolutely important that we attract young families. And and when I say young families, you know, one of the barriers that we have to attracting younger people to our community is the kind of amenities that young people like. So we're not looking for the 20 to 30 year old who's still single and, and wanting to go out in, in the evening and enjoy a bit of a nightlife and, and enjoy some of those type of amenities. We're looking more at the 30 to 50 year old demographic who have a family, who want the uh, the safety of a, a community safety to raise their children who are looking for primarily outdoor type of activities, sporting activities. Uh, so, you know, we have to be careful about how we define the group that we're looking to attract. Now this, um, I understand there, there's a multimedia package that's being put together. That's yep. part of the strategy. There, there's other components as well. Let our viewers know a little bit about the business attraction strategy. What are the nuts and bolts? How will this thing uh, come together and, and how to ultimately do you attract some of these lifestyle entrepreneurs and others uh, to come into the Parksville Qualicum region to help diversify the economy? Okay, well, the, the, yes, there are some multimedia pieces. There's video, there's web, there's print material that's being developed to cater to um, attracting that 30 to 50 year old demographic that can work anywhere in the world but chooses to work in a place where the, the other aspects of their life will be uh, at the best it can possibly be. And hey, look, it's Parksville and Qualica Beach. Mm -hmm. Who would not want to live there? You know, we've nice got, area. it's a fantastic area. We've got the most beautiful beach right in the middle of our, of our, of our two communities. We've got uh, the, the access to all sorts of recreational activities. The linkages in the, uh, to Vancouver, Seattle, Calgary, they're all in place. Uh, we've got good health care. We do have good schools, even though we have a, a declining enrollment. So all of the pieces are there to go out and, and attract these people. So um, it's going to be our job 
to and and the job of of the partners to take these tools and get out there and pound the pavement basically to you know I'm on uh, the end of the month I'm off to Calgary to uh, to participate in the Calgary Home and Garden Show for the Tourism Association because we're partners with them so there are lots of opportunities to go to some of the Comtech shows some of the gatherings of, of people who are in these businesses um, you know the social media concepts the the uh, our website alone is a very significant attractor in the and the tourism Association website is a significant attractor of traffic. We will use those uh, those those uh, tools to get our message out. The tourism business is a great tool to use. People come to the Parks of Qualicum Beach region for their holiday, see what it's like if they can be recognizing the opportunities that are there for them to have their business there so that they can be in vacation land forever. I think that that's a great tool. And the, uh, the Tourism Vancouver Island Group right now are doing uh, a program on the value of tourism. That's one of the values of tourism. I want to ask you a bit about the barriers. Uh, this sounds all, all well and good. I know it's going to take a lot of hard work, but uh, what barriers do, um, do you see for, for making uh, this, this happen, really bringing these higher quality jobs, lifestyle entrepreneurs to Parksville Qualicum? And you looked at Nanaimo 25 minutes to the south. You talked about the amenities. That's certainly mm -hmm. uh, a competitor. And Nanaimo's knocking on this door and bringing more of the, these tech science jobs uh, that kind of relate into what you're talking about. And also the, the house housing in Nanaimo is significantly cheaper than, than Parksville Qualicum Beach as well. That seems to be a couple of challenges. What's your response to that and, and some of the, the barriers uh, that uh, Parksville Qualicum will, will face to really make this happen, Kim? Um, there, there are some barriers that we have to knock down, okay? Uh, the biggest one is there's a bit of a leap of faith, okay? Um, we need to build a critical mass. Uh, we have a number of people in our communities right now who are lifestyle entrepreneurs, but we need to build a critical mass uh, so that there's a real hub and so that there's an exchange of ideas and that there's a um, there's a, a, a some sophistication and there's there's innovation. So that right now is a barrier because those things don't exist. And so, um, you know, too much distance from colleagues, not enough of the right kind of business. And these are responses that we've got from folks living in our community who fit the criteria that we're looking to attract. So, so, so is, is that amenities? You say not having that, that hub that's available, uh, no, does that tie into that? No, it's not necessarily amenities. Um, it's more, um, you know, parked, uh, Qualicum Beach are going ahead with their, uh, their digital media center, okay, which is going to be a great contributor to making this work. Right, because it's going to create a spot where people can get together and have that idea exchange, and, and they can um, they can meet with each other, and you know they talk the same language, and, and they can uh, they can uh, uh, allow the incubation of ideas and those sorts of things, so that things uh, can can work for them. The other piece is that most people who are in a professional capacity have a partner, significant other, that's also in a professional capacity that's going to need to have uh, employment in their in. Their their area. So, you know, things like the Oceanside Health Clinic are, are good contributors in that way. Um, so, we, you know, we're looking for two jobs and not just one. Uh, so that's a bit of a barrier that we're going to have to overcome. Um, there's, a, there's a sense out there right now that there's the increase in the number of lifestyle entrepreneurs is too slow. You know, we need that critical mass. So, as I said, there's a bit of a leap of faith. Um, we're going to knock those walls down with sheer effort. And it is Parksville Qualicum Beach after all. Who wouldn't want to be there? Very interesting discussion, Kim. There's so much more we could get into, and uh, I'll continue to track this uh, with my radio job at Island Radio because it's a very interesting story. It's very important to the future of Parksville Qualicum Beach. And thanks for introducing uh, this to our TV audience as we learn a little bit more about diversifying the economy, bringing higher paying jobs to Parksville Qualicum, and brightening the future of a very beautiful part of our world and Vancouver Island, Parksville Qualicum Beach. Thanks so much, Kim, for coming on. Thanks, Ian. It's a, it's a pleasure. We want to get the word out. We want people to understand what it is we're trying to to accomplish and we want them to embrace it so thank you that's kim burden he's the executive director of the parks parksville and district chamber of commerce leading the oceanside initiatives effort really appreciate him for coming on this has been another edition of head on here on shaw tv tune in next time for another exciting edition right here on shaw